Hey, so it's June 1st, 2019. So let's see, I've been doing these videos now since, I think the first video I did was in, was in June 2013. Holy crap, I think it was like middle of June. I don't know, you can look at the channel and check it out. But um, yeah, that's the first time I went to Santa Monica and got my consultation. I didn't do the surgery until August 2013, right here in the front, which you can still see on my head. So it's been about, what, six years now almost? I've been ranting about my hair. And this is what it's looking like. I just got a haircut actually, I think a couple days ago. So I uh, cut it from the sides and the back. And yeah. So let's take a look at the hair. Uh, not much has changed really. I was noticing a lot of hair falling out recently. I mean, see, like right there, just one fell on the counter. Uh, that hasn't been happening actually for a while. I don't know why recently it is. I hope that doesn't mean I'm losing my transplanted hair, but um, it, it was a lot of shedding last month. And then uh, it's kind of stopped now and it's gotten a little thicker. So maybe it's just based on the weather or something. I don't know. I hope uh, it gets a little more thicker now. So on minoxidil, I know a lot of people have asked, do I use finasteride? I am under the lights again in the bathroom. My favorite spot to do it at. Uh, maybe I should start doing it again in front of the window. I actually do have a nice spot to um, do this at. Yeah, this is the hair. I'm growing it big again, so I usually like to start with the top. Let that be thicker. And then I uh, I start growing out the sides. Uh, let's do it in front of the window, see what it looks like. Oh, this is a great shot right here because you can see when the light's behind. Oh, why is it right there? I mean, that looks terrible. <laughs> That's why lighting does make a difference on this thing. Uh, but right here in front of the window, and, uh, get a pretty good shot here. Oops. Nice sunlight. Yeah, sunlight you can really see a lot of dust in the gun there. Okay. Yeah. That's what it's looking like guys. Um, you know, leave your comments, questions, concerns. I try to reply to all of them. Um, been doing this now for six years. I know my channel uh, is quite small for a channel that's been going on for six years. But I'm not really doing it to get a bunch of fans and subscribers here. Uh, you know, let me know if you want to see anything else. Uh, a lot of people have recommended Turkey to finish off the Flora hairline. And I have actually spoken to um, some of the people up in Turkey, the doctors that I was recommended. If you have any more, go ahead and leave their contact in the comments. And um, I've spoken to them. It's not so much the pricing, but more that they can lower the hairline they claim, uh, which does excite me. And I've been actually thinking about just going there quickly. It's a three day process, you know, just get it done with. Um, might take a whole week off and just go get it done. Uh, I've been considering it. I am going to New York in a couple weeks and I will be closer to uh, obviously Turkey. Um, so maybe right after New York, I should just go and get it done. Stop talking about it and just do it. But otherwise, the hair isn't bad, you know, you got right there. <laughs>